Welcome to Lesson 1. We are excited to begin this journey of discovering God's plan for growing in Christ. My name is Dustin and I have the privilege of serving as one of the pastors here at Cannon Hills. And I will be your guide for this first session. As we begin, if you haven't already, I invite you to get out your study guide and open up to page 4 to the section titled, Group Video Guide. And be ready to take some notes. As followers of Christ, we all share a common goal and that is to live our lives for Jesus. We're trying to become, as Romans 8.29 says, conformed into His image. Simply put, we're trying to grow to be more like Him. But what does that process of growth actually look like? And if we're being honest, you know, sometimes being a Christian can feel a little like trying to put together a giant jigsaw puzzle. We have all the pieces of the Christian life laying before us. We have all these things that we're supposed to do. We must read our Bibles and memorize scripture and pray and serve. The list can just go on and on. But when we consider this massive list of things we must do to be a Christian, it's easy to get overwhelmed and discouraged. And if we're not careful, our relationship with Jesus can turn into a list of do's and don'ts, completely devoid of any real passion and relationship. The key to growing in Christ is similar to the key to putting together a puzzle. Having all the right pieces isn't enough. What you need is to know is how the pieces fit together and what they make once they are. What you need to see is the image in the cover of the box. That is what this study is all about. It will encourage you and your life group to refer back to the picture and the cover of the box to get a clear understanding of what does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus. Once we get a clear understanding of what God is trying to make us into, it's only then that the pieces of our faith will fit together. If you've been attending Cannon Hills for any length of time, you know what our purpose is. We exist to make more and better disciples of Christ. We get this from Matthew 28, 18 through 20, where we are called to go and make disciples. This is the purpose not only of our church, but of every one of us who follows Jesus. Your purpose as a follower of Christ is to make disciples. So that brings up a couple important questions, such as, what in the world is a disciple and how do you make one? Well, this first lesson will help answer these questions for you. Today, you will get a clear picture of what a disciple looks like and you'll be introduced to a process that God has established for helping us grow as disciples. This process of growth is what we refer to as discipleship. It is what God has been trying to do in you and through you from the moment that you were saved. We define discipleship as this. Discipleship is the ongoing process of learning to be a devoted follower of Jesus and helping others to do the same. In this first lesson, you will discover that there is a natural progression that takes place within our discipleship. This progression is what we call the phases of discipleship, and it is what you and your group will be exploring throughout this entire study. So let's begin our journey together and discover God's plan for helping us grow to be more like Christ. Welcome to Lesson 1.